In at number four, named after the Japanese warrior, the Mitsubishi Shogun. Mitsubishi seemed to have achieved the impossible by lowering the center of gravity while raising the ground clearance, simultaneously improving both on and off-road handling. However, the new independent suspension can make you feel slightly seasick on tarmac. Yuck. So if a 4x4 is what you're after, well, the Mitsubishi Shogun is one of the best to drive, barring something like the latest BMW X5. You, of course, sit very high, you get a very commanding view of the road ahead. The ride is comfortable and smooth, and the steering is surprisingly sharp and responsive. You do need to work these diesel engines hard, though, to make any sort of rapid progress. In a way, the Shogun drives as well as a car, like a Golf. All cars are a compromise, but Mitsubishi have got the balance right as it has excellent off-road agility, yet it drives so well on tarmac with pin-sharp steering. This has a Tonka toy look to it. It's beefy, it's rugged. It's not a car that you want to get into an argument with. And if you choose the five-door long wheelbase like this, along with the diesel engine, don't expect 30 or 40 to the gallon, more like early 20s if you're lucky. This is one heavy car. Overall, the Shogun is a great, reliable package, and our panel have voted it to number four. Now, let's enter this week's top three.